Hi, Simon here again. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, posted the next instalment of my Keys to Successful Fat Loss. It's been, it's been a very busy time. I've been working with quite a number of new clients, which is fantastic. And I want to get into a lot of what the work I've been doing is actually on this very topic that I'm going uh, to discuss now. Uh, and that's, that's emotions. Because as you may have noticed, these keys to successful fat loss are possibly not what you might have thought in the first place. Yes, diet and exercise is important. However, there are these other key factors that really play a, really, a, a hugely important part in, in how our mind and our bodies function. And sometimes they're, they're very disconnected. And emotions play a huge part in this. And there's, a, there's, a, there's an important distinction between emotions and feelings. Now, emotions are a, a mental concept and feelings are the physical expression of those emotions. And thinking what happens in here, in this wonderful grey matter between our ears, the way we think is, is massively important. We are a product of our thinking. If we think something's going to be bad, it'll be bad. If it's going to be, if we think it's going to be fun, exciting, enjoyable, then guess what it'll be. Um, Henry Ford, fantastic quote of his from a very long time ago: "If you think you can, you're right, and if you think you can't, you're right." And the way we think leads us to feel a certain way. You know, if we think, "Oh, this is." Uh, this is crap, I'm going to be so bored, then you will be bored. If you think you're going to be happy, you'll be happy. So think the way you think directly is linked to the way you feel. And when you feel a certain way, it creates a mood. And whether that's happy, sad, or indifferent. And your mood leads to your attitude. And your attitude leads on to your behaviour. If... Um, you ever been in, uh, either either at home or, or or at work, and somebody's attitude really sucks. You know, they're in a foul mood. Their attitude's crap, and they behave according to their mood and their attitude and the way they're thinking and feeling. So they behave according to that state, emotional and physical state that they're in at the time. And obviously, behaviour. It can be really positive and uplifting and you can motivate other people. Or if you're in a really shitty mood, you kind of, you can bring everybody down and people kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll see you another day. I don't want to spend time with you right now. And there are certain kinds of triggers that set off the way you think, feel, the mood you're in, your attitude and behaviour. And some of those triggers... I mean, this list is obviously not exhaustive, so you will recognise other triggers that you possibly have. People can trigger you. And by people, I mean everything else that's in, involved here. Other people's behaviour, their attitude, their mood, uh, the kind of the vibe they give off, you know, the, how they're feeling and thinking. Because the way they think leads them to t talk in a certain way as well. So if somebody's really negative, that can bring you down. If somebody's really positive, it can be really uplifting and motivational. It can inspire you to do something different. So people can be triggers. Places. You may have an association, a negative emotional connection and association to a certain place. And equally, you can have a very positive one. Memories. Memories can come flooding back because of the way you're thinking. So thinking can be a trigger. The way you feel can be a trigger and can activate memories that perhaps are not as pleasant as you'd like. So there they are it's 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 a an interconnected very woven uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Connection to different states, different moods, everything is linked inextricably linked so one can one changing can affect everything else so instead of being in a really horrible negative state of mind and feeling crap and behaving crap and perhaps talking very negatively one little thing can just spark that change 
and then all of a sudden you can be up here, very positive, you can be upbeat, you can be fun, having a great time, be fun to be with, and people can enjoy spending time with you, and you enjoy spending time with them. What's this got to do with fat loss? Negative emotions and physical states, mental states, produce cortisol, a very powerful stress hormone. And even a small level of cortisol in your system over a long period of time is kind of like a gradient. It starts off down here and it builds up and stacks up and stacks up and stacks up. So after a few weeks, months, instead of having just that little bit down here, it's just built up and you have this great big chunk of stress running through your system all the time. Cortisol and other stress hormones are highly catabolic. They're detrimental to your physical well-being and your psychological. Cortisol, there are some, there is some research indicating that low levels of cortisol in your system for an extended period of time can lead to symptoms of PTSD. And I know there are some, and I'm in agreement actually, it's not a disorder, it's a natural occurring thing, post-traumatic stress. It's not a disorder. It's something that can be worked through and I'd rather avoid calling it a disorder. However, that's an entirely different subject and PTSD can be a fallout of extended stress. When you're in a very stressed state, you know, you can gain fat because of your psychological state. You can, your body can store fat because it's just hanging on to stuff. It goes into survival mode to, to, to some degree or other. And because of your mental state being affected through negative emotions consistently running through you and being ever present, you lose motivation, desire, feeling even you know the, the slightest inkling to get off your ass and do a little bit of exercise even if it's going for a walk it's much easier to come up with all the different excuses that you can do oh, I'll just do it tomorrow I'll start tomorrow I'll, I'll you know I'm not feeling well I'll do it next week the thing is until you change what's going on in here you're not going to feel better you have to focus your mind and really put conscious effort into changing even just one little thing every day, every week, and just make that change. So instead of being a closed, negative, very dense bundle of negativity, you start to open it up, a bit like a flower. You know, it opens up, you feed it light, you feed it food, give it a bit of nurture, a bit of TLC, and it will blossom, it'll open up. So, emotions, very important. We experience them day in, day out. Some good, some bad. Some kind of somewhere in the middle. And all this that's attached to it, plus more, that other things that you will recognise within yourself relating to emotions and feelings and your physical state as well as your mental state. So, yet again, lots to think about. Take a little time. Have a, have a, a bit of time to reflect on what happens what, with your emotions? How do they affect you? How do you change them? Do you know how to change them? What, what little practical tools and little tricks do you have that you can perhaps share with other people? You know, just one little thing. You, could, you can completely change somebody's day, their week, perhaps even their life by giving them words, words of wisdom, your little pearls of, of experience and wisdom that you can pass on to other people. It's nice to share. So, please comment below the video, share your experiences and your knowledge, and perhaps you can uh, you can brighten up somebody's day, make a, a real difference by just helping them change just one little thing. You can also email me on simon at simonmarion.com, and thanks for listening. I hope you found it useful, and please feel for, free to uh, comment below and I will be posting number five in the series, Motivation to Succeed, uh, in, the, in the next day or so. So, thanks very much, take care, and have a fantastic weekend.